Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Hello, friends, and hello, listeners. Welcome back to the class. Welcome to the advanced portion of the class here in class 51, starting with a little review. Yesterday we were talking about, well, in the last class, I should say, uh, we were talking about uh, it depends, and we ran out of time. And I said, listen, I promise you we will spend time with a good review of this in the next class. So I'm going to keep my promise. I don't like breaking promises. I'm going to keep my promise, and we will spend some time practicing this structure. It depends. It depends on you. It depends on me. It depends on the weather. It is the subject. It depends. So it's in the present. So we need an S on our verb. It depends. And the preposition we use is on, never of or anything else. It depends on. It depends on. It depends on. It depends on the boss. It depends on the budget. It often depends on the budget, doesn't it? Yeah, it depends on the budget. It depends on who you ask. Some people will say, one thing and some people will say another thing. It depends on who you ask. It depends on the team's decision. It depends on the coach. Yes, should we play offensively or defensively? Well, it depends on the coach. It depends on his decision. It depends on the result. Yes, it depends on the weather. Will we go to the park? Well, it depends on the weather. Will we go home now? or should, should we go home now? Well, it depends. Are you tired? It depends on how tired you are. It depends on. It depends on him. It depends on her. It depends on my mother. It depends on the time. It depends on the budget. It depends on the schedule. It depends on who you ask. It depends on our feelings. It depends on which chair you use. It depends on what type of computer you have. It depends on the system. It depends on the management structure. It depends on. 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 On. Please never say anything else. Please never say, it's depend. Oh, I get a headache when I hear that. It's depend. Oof, no, 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 no. It depends on. Okay? Good. Now, we often use this with weather. It depends. Now, not weather as in el tiempo, but weather, W-H-E-T-H-E-R, weather which is basically the same as if. Well, it depends if you're here or not. It depends on whether you are here or not. Will you go to see the Rolling Stones? Well, it depends on whether there are tickets or not. We can also say it depends on whether or not there are tickets. It depends on whether he comes or not. It depends on whether he comes or not. It depends on whether or not he comes. It depends on whether we have any money or not. It depends on whether or not we have any money. It depends on whether it's approved or not. It depends on whether or not it's approved. It depends on whether we're ready or not. It depends on whether or not we're ready. It depends on whether they invite us or not. Will you go to their party? Well, it depends whether or not they invite us. It depends whether they invite us or not. The two options are the same. The word order can be, we have two accept, acceptable alternatives. It depends on whether they invite us or not. It depends on whether she's with us or not. It depends on whether or not she's with us. All right. Very good. Okay. 
Now, so it's it's important to remember this structure and to use it properly. It depends on. We'll practice more with if it depends in a few minutes. But let's go ahead with our expression of the day. Yeah, the expression of the day. The expression of the day. And every time I think of this one, I, I remember a group I used to teach in the Vaughn Master and a group that I, I used to say this at the, end of, uh, at the end of the week. In the last class, I would say, well, time's up. Let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. Let's call, like llamar, to call, it a day. We'll call it, now we sometimes say we'll call it in, in the sense of we will now consider it to be. It's like we'll call it done. It means we will consider it to be done. Let's call it a day. It means let's consider what we have done to be now complete. In other words, hemos terminado. We're, we're finished. Let's stop there. Let's stop at this point. Let's call it a day. I'm only six minutes into this class, but you know what? Maybe I'll just call it a day. Maybe I'll just stand up and go home. What do you think, Nacho? I'm looking at our technician, Nacho. Should, should I just call it a day? Should I just stand up and go home? Should I call it a day? No, oh no, he's shaking his head. He's saying, no, Kyle, you have to keep talking for another 12 minutes. He says, after 12 minutes, you can call it a day. Yeah, when you finish the class, in 12 minutes, this class will be over. About 11 and a half minutes. And I'm going to call it a day because I am tired. I will be absolutely ready to call it a day. To consider this day done and to go home and relax. Because I'm ready to call it a day. Are you ready to call it a day? Should we call... Why don't we just... Should we just call it a day now? I'd like to, but the technician keeps telling me, Kyle, you can't call it a day yet. You've got to keep teaching. You've got to keep working. You've got another, eh, now another uh, el, uh, 10 and a half minutes. Only 10 and a half minutes to go before we can call it a day. And that is our expression of the day. Okay? To call it a day. All right. Good. At the end of the class, I'll call it a day, but not yet. Because I want to practice a little bit more with this idea of it depends on, with it depends on where, it depends on what. So with question words, okay? It depends on who you ask, for example, okay? So if you go, so what restaurant should I go to? If I, if I'm, if I ask my friend, what, west, what restaurant should I go to? He will say, bueno, depende de lo que quieras. It depends on what you want. It depends on what you want. Because if you want fish, I'm going to recommend this restaurant. If you want Mexican food, I'm going to re recommend a different restaurant. So it depends on what you want. It depends on what you want. Depende de lo que quieras. Depende de cuánto tengas. It depends on how much you have. Yes. Sure. It depends on how much you have. Maybe money. Mm. How much should I pay? How much should I pay for a car? Well, it depends on how much you have. If you're rich, then maybe you can afford to pay more for a car. It depends on how much you have, how much money you have. Right? It depends on how much time you have. It depends on how much... Um, trouble you have with grammar. Mm -hmm. The amount of time you should spend studying depends, a specific structure depends on how much trouble you have with it. Okay? Depende de cuando termines. Yes. What should I do after work? Well, it depends on when you finish. If you finish at 6 o'clock, you could go out for dinner with your friend. But if you don't finish until 11 p.m., it's going to be too late. So whatever, whatever I do, it, bueno, depende de cuando termines. It depends on when you finish. It depends on when you finish. 
Now, yesterday, I said in class, it depends on, it depends on, it depends on you, it depends on me, it depends on my mother, it depends on the weather, it depends on the boss, it depends on who you ask. It's all the same. It depends on, right? Uh, depende de donde vives. Dis disculpa me, Dis depende de donde vivas. Yes. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you live. Is my house close to here? Bueno, depende de donde vivas. It depends on where you live. I'm always pronouncing that S. It depends on. It depends on where you live. Depende de como lo hagas. It depends on how you do it. It depends on how you do it, right? It depends on how you do it. It depends on how you make it, for example, right? If, if you're making pizza, the, the taste of the pizza will be very different because it will depend on how you make it, how you prepare it. It depends on where you go, right? Will I, will I see the ocean if I take a vacation in Spain? Well, it depends on where you go. If you go to Alicante, you'll see the ocean. Well, you'll see the, you'll see the Mediterranean. If I go to Cadiz... Will I be in a windy place if I go to the beach? Well, it depends on where you go. If you go to Cadiz, yes, you'll be in a windy place. If you go to Alicante, it won't be as windy. It depends on who you ask. It depends on who you ask, right? Is Spanish food the best food in the world? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some people will say yes, and some people will say no. It depends on who you ask. Is Coca-Cola better than Pepsi? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some people will say that Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola, and some people will say that Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi. The definitive answer? Well, there's no definitive answer. It's a matter of opinion. It depends on who you ask. It depends on who you ask. Okay? Very good. It depends on when it starts. It depends on when, when will the movie end. When do movies end? Well, it depends on when they start. When will the next movie end? I don't know because I don't know when it starts. It depends on when it starts. Okay? It depends on, and we can very often use a question, right? a question word. Okay? All right. So, very good. So, another thing we, we, we can say here, it depends on what you want to do. With all these where we're using a question word, we can also remove. If you want, you can remove the, the, the on. You can say, it depends on what you want. We can say, it depends what you want. It depends when you finish. It depends who you ask. It depends where you go. When we're using a question word after it depends, if you want to remove the on, in this case, you can. But if you leave it in, and say that we always say it depends on, if you always say it depends on, you'll always be right. In this case, with the question word, you can remove the on if you like and say it depends what you want. It depends when you finish. It depends how much you have. It depends where you live. It depends how you do it. It depends where you go. It depends who you ask. It depends when it starts. If you want to remove the on like I just did, no problem. It depends on how you feel, okay? You can leave the on in or you can take it out when you're using a question word. It depends how you feel. It depends on how you feel. Either one is fine. All right, let's move on. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. That's right, our five words of vocabulary, starting with the word... Pala. Pala. ¿Cómo se dice pala en inglés? How do you say that in English? Shovel. Shovel. I use my shovel to dig holes. Apretar. To tighten. Yes. And we've talked about a few of these words in the last uh, few classes. Verbs. So adjectives that become verbs when we add en. To make it more tight, we tighten it. To make the road wider, we widen it. To make it shorter, we shorten it. Okay? Shorten, tighten. Okay? 
Ataque nervioso. Nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown. Not nervous, but nervous. Nervous breakdown. Cavar. Cavar. To dig. To dig. Very good. Pecador. Sinner. Sinner. Very good. All right, let's move on to our translation list. Translation list number four. Number one. Como regla general, prefiero dejar a mi gente sola. As a general rule, I prefer to leave my people alone. Okay, number two. Que yo sepa, no ha habido cambios. Que yo sepa, as far as I know, there haven't been any changes. Number three. En cuanto a mí, puedes hacer lo que quieras. En cuanto a mí, very good. As far as I'm concerned, you can do whatever you want. En el mejor de los casos, tenemos suficiente dinero para llegar a mayo. At best, we have enough money to get to May. To get to May. Number five. Tuvimos la oportunidad de hablar detenidamente sobre el asunto. We had the chance to speak at length about the matter. And number six. ¿Eres consciente de lo que podría ocurrir si fueras adelante con esa idea? Are you aware of what could happen if you went ahead with that idea? Are you aware of what could happen if you went ahead with that idea? Good. Number seven. Hemos tardado meses en romper el hielo. It's taken us months to break the ice. Number eight. Volverás con las manos vacías. Ya verás. You'll come back empty-handed. You'll see. You'll see. Ya verás. You'll see. Number nine. Tenemos que partir de cero otra vez. We have to start from scratch again. Number ten. A la larga, todo saldrá bien. In the long run... Everything will turn out fine. Number 11. Mientras tanto, quiero que hagas esto. In the meantime, I want you to do this. This. Very good. Number 12. En nombre del presidente, quiero expresar nuestro agradecimiento por... On behalf of the president, I want to express our appreciation for... Very good. All right. Very good. I am completely out of time, and I am absolutely ready to call it a day. Yes, our expression of the day, to call it a day. I'm going to call it a day. Are you going to call it a day? Good. Good job today. Now you can finally call it a day. But I'll see you tomorrow for more. Take care. Bye-bye.